Hey guys, Shurum here, and today I'm going to be testing the Aston Martin Valhalla in multiplayer in Forza Horizon 4, in S2 class at a rank of 998. The tune I'm using was created by Nalike28 and was recommended to me by Rio. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already, and be sure to check out my Furum Clips channel, as well as my Purple Team Discord. Links to those will be in the description, and I hope you enjoy these races. This video completes what I consider to be like a small trilogy of my first three Forza Horizon 5 reviews, one in each of the three most popular classes in the game A, S1, and S2. We had the Supra in A, the Taycan in S1, and now finally the Valhalla in S2. I thought this would give kind of a good feeling of what it's like to drive in each of these classes in the game. I'd consider S1 to be a great middle of the road class because A can sometimes feel a bit too slow and S2 can sometimes feel a bit too fast, but I did have a lot of fun driving this car in this video. The Valhalla, especially with this tune, drives very well. I had very very few issues with it sliding out or anything like that and it handled quite well, the speed was good, I didn't really have any issues with it. Joining us today are Flame in his Radical RXC, Solid CCC in his Valhalla as well, Rio in his Huayra BC, Cold Canadian in his Porsche 911, Carrera GT in his Regera, which I guess does rhyme with Carrera, Tangram in his Porsche 918, Skipper in his Senna, Racer Dash in his Sesto FE, which as you guys may or may not know, is one of the best cars in the entire game, if not the best, and then that one kid in his Mosler MT900S. Yes, his game tag is actually that one kid. If you would like to join us in these races, if you go to the special roles channel of the Purple Team Discord, you can find the Forza role. If you add that to yourself by clicking on the little Forza emote, you will be added to the Forza role, which I will ping every time I do one of these lobbies, typically every other week when I am not streaming. And occasionally I do actually play Forza in my streams ever since I was able to get it to not lag in them. Now this coming Saturday is actually Christmas Day, so Merry Christmas to everyone, and I will be streaming on on that day for a bit less of time though, probably only about an hour rather than the two hours I'd been doing because, you know, I want everybody to be able to spend time with friends and family and everything, and I don't want to take too much of your day, but I also still want to do at least a little bit, especially since we've got the Sheeran special event and the Jamera um, Drive Syndicate going on right now. I think it will make a great fun little stream. And here we finish this race on Dunas Blancas Sprint in second place to Solid CC with Rio not too far behind us which is a placing I am honestly quite happy with. And now for our second race, which is on Riviera Sprint. I really like this track because it has a lot of variety in its terrain. You start up sort of in the mountains and then as you go down, there's some nice curves, but there's also a good bit of straight sections. You go through a jungly area and you end up pretty much right at the beach. And this is one thing that I really like about a lot of Forza Horizon 5 tracks. A lot of them do have this thing where they just go from one, I guess, biome for lack of a better term, to the other throughout it, which is something that I really did not see as much of in Forza Horizon 4 because we really didn't have as many different, just very unique areas throughout the map as we do in 5. It's likely that the next car we test will be the Sailing S1 because that's a car in the game that is currently also in the Jamera special event and Midi, I believe, is creating a decal for it just like one of the ones inside of Asphalt 9, which is the middle one when you go to the decal section and the only one that I was actually able to apply to the car. There are two others, but they were locked, but this is the one that I like the best, so I'm not too mad about that. Also, you guys will be happy to know that I had no lag in my recording during the session that we did last week. Yeah, I stayed away from Copper Canyon Sprint, <laughs> and I didn't get any lag on any of the tracks that I played. It is just really sad that that track is the one that seems to lag my recordings because that is one of my favorite ones to play and now I feel like I can't play it. But in any case, I found plenty of other tracks that I really enjoy as well. So I guess until I can figure out a way to record that one without it lagging my computer, it's, it's still so weird as like just that track. Um, I probably will just stick to other ones. Like this one here I actually really do enjoy too. And at this point I have just Carrera and Rio ahead of us. As you guys know, Rio and Ardno are two of the most skilled players that I've played against in my lobbies, and recently I've been able to keep up with them better than I used to in a lot of the races that I've played. I guess <laughs> kind of one of my goals in Forza in terms of skill is to be able to get to the point where I can be evenly matched with Arno and Rio, 
Who knows how long it will be till that happens, but I am aiming for that. Now here, I'm just flying up behind Ryo and Kurira. Kurira flies off the track. I managed to pass Ryo, who I think said look out at the exact moment I passed him. I think he told me afterwards he slowed down a little bit due to Kurira flying off the track, but in any case, we're able to pass them and come in first place. Not by a long shot, but first place nonetheless. In the session, we recorded a total of 10 races, three of which you see in this video. And recently, Forza Horizon 5 has been working better. What I do is I just fast travel around the map to the different tracks and create a new event for them in the Horizon Lab, doing things like setting it to morning so it's not nighttime, usually at least, or especially not rain, and then making sure we don't have that issue we did in the Taycan video, where sometimes everybody was in the same car, that doesn't happen anymore. Also, and this was the biggest thing that a lot of people wanted, I turned off traffic every time. Time because I was really tired of having these nighttime street races have a bunch of traffic that you really couldn't see until you got right up on them because I do street races sometimes in these videos too. And honestly, I don't really know what's the difference between the street races and the road races because they seem almost identical in just the kind of track they are. I really don't know the difference. But anyway, now these races went a lot more pleasantly. Third time's the charm, I guess, after having some issues in the last two. And hopefully from now on, we shouldn't have too much of an issue. Unfortunately, Tankram did have an issue going off the track, and at this point it was me in first place just trying my best to keep this throughout the rest of the race. Because if I was going to be able to pull this off, this victory, this would be the best race that I've had so far in Forza Horizon 5, I think. For my general review about this car, I have to say it is one of the more pleasant cars in the game I've driven. It feels very light, but yet grounded most of the time. Occasionally it does slide slightly, but that's in rare cases. And where you have seen it happen, typically it's just because I haven't been braking enough. The car very rarely really just breaks traction or whatever. And the handling in general is pretty good. I'm also happy that it's fast enough to be able to compete pretty well on the straights too. I never had an issue where somebody was just running away from me on a straight. So overall, quite a well-balanced car, I would say, and I would use it again. Not in another video, I mean just like in online races if I ever decide to do that. And I typically won't be making videos in this game about cars that I've already tested in Forza Horizon 4 either. I know some people have requested that, um, but most likely I'll be trying to stick to new cars for now until either I just run out of cars that are in Forza Horizon 5 that are also in Asphalt 8 or 9, which probably isn't going to happen anytime soon, or there's just some really special car in this game that I want to test again that I also happen to test in Forza Horizon 4, for example. It's also likely that we'll do some more mini games and stuff like we did towards the end of Forza Horizon 4, we did a city camo, for example, where basically me and a bunch of other purple team members get together in a call and record ourselves just doing something fun. But my usual Forza Horizon 5 content will continue to be car reviews. Thank you all so much for watching, please like the video if you have enjoyed, and consider subscribing for more Asphalt, Forza, and other games content. And I will see you in my next video, goodbye!